Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine Clark and I'm an evangelist for the developer relations team. I'm excited to present this training series for the Carbon Black Cloud APIs, so let's get started. This series includes an introduction to REST APIs, calling Carbon Black Cloud APIs using curl requests and Postman, API error handling and troubleshooting, and using the Carbon Black Cloud SDK. This lesson is the third in the series. It introduces Postman and teaches us how to get alerts from Carbon Black Cloud using Postman requests. Postman is a scalable API testing tool that quickly integrates into your CI CD pipeline. It was created to simplify the API workflow and make it easier to develop and test APIs. Its simple user face allows people from all backgrounds to effectively call and test APIs. You can download Postman with the URL provided here to get started. Postman provides many features which simplify the process of developing, testing, and debugging APIs. Let's explore some of these features and their benefits. Accessibility. Users can access files anytime by logging in anywhere a Postman application is installed. Collections. Users can create collections for their API calls with subfolders and multiple requests to easily organize test suites. Collaboration. Collections and environments can be imported or exported, making it easy to share files. Creating environments. Having multiple environments aids in less repetition of tests, as one can use the same collection for different environments. Creation of tests. Test checkpoints, such as verifying for successful HTTP response status, can be added to Postman API calls, which help ensure test coverage. Automation testing. Through the use of the collection runner or Newman, tests can be run in multiple iterations, saving time on repetitive tests. Debugging. The Postman console helps to check which data has been retrieved, making it easy to debug tests. Continuous integration. The Postman console makes it easy to maintain development practices. Now that we've learned the benefits of using Postman, let's take a deeper look into the console and learn how to use it. I have outlined 18 features in Postman and provided a key on the next slide. You will likely only need to use a few of these at first, but you can refer to these slides if you want to explore the full functionality of Postman. For now, let's move on to setting up our Postman workspace to make Carbon Black Cloud API calls. Once you have the Postman app installed on your computer, navigate to the URL listed here to access the Carbon Black Cloud Postman collection. You should see Postman open in your browser. In the top right corner, click Run in Postman to open the collection in the Postman app. Select Open in Mac or Open in Windows, depending on your machine. The Postman app will open and the import window should display in the console. Select My Workspace and then click the Import button to import the Carbon Black Cloud collection into your workspace. You should now see the Carbon Black Cloud collection open in your Postman console under Collections. Now we need to set our variables to be able to make API calls. There are several variables here that you can customize, and the nice thing about using variables is that we only need to set them once and they can be used to make any of the API calls. First, we need to choose the environment we want to reach by setting the cburl variable. It defaults to https defense confer deploy .net, which is the environment we will use for our example. Next, we need to set the cb org key variable to the org key of the organization we are working with. Lastly, we need to set the authentication variables, which are CB Custom ID and CB Custom Key. These should be set to the API ID and API secret you created in CBC during the first video. You'll see in a moment where these variables are used and why it's helpful to set them first. From here, we are ready to start making API calls. Let's look at an example. We are going to call the Alerts API to retrieve alerts for an organization. First, we want to click on Alert Search in the left pane. Next, we want to verify that the environment in the top right corner is set to Carbon Black Cloud. We also want to verify that the request type is set to Post. You can tell which request type you need to use by looking at the request type listed next to the API endpoint in the left pane. If you look at the path, you'll see two variables, cburl and cborg key. You can hover over these values and see that they are set to the values we chose in the previous slide. Next, we click the Authorization tab and verify the type is set to Inherit Auth from Parent. 
The platform APIs are set up to automatically add a header with authorization values determined by the variables you set earlier. If you click the platform APIs link, you will see the variables used. By setting these values here, Postman will add this as a header when making the API call. This step allows us to be authenticated and provides access to the API. If you forget to set your variables before making an API call, you will see a 401 unauthorized user error when you send your request. Lastly, I want to mention the request body. If you go back to the Alert Search tab and click on Body, you will see a default request body. You don't have to make any changes here, but I want to point it out because all post requests require some type of request body. Now we are ready to click Send. When the call is complete, you should see a status of 200, signifying that the request was successful. You should also see a list of alerts in the response body. Congratulations on successfully making your first API call using Postman. Our next lesson in the series will be error handling and troubleshooting. Thank you for your time today, and I hope this information has been beneficial. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.